Hey, hey, hey. Happy Friday, everyone. How's everybody doing today? I have a feeling this is going to be a great day. So, guess what? Today's topic is going to be daily mode of operation. DMO. Do you have a daily mode of operation? A DMO? Well, I did not have one for the longest time. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Hey, Meg. Hey, guys. How you doing? This is great. So we're going to get into this daily mode of operation. I probably don't have enough energy to do this. I was up late last night, but that's besides the point. That's behind. That was yesterday. So today is now, and we're going to do this right now. So I've got like eight steps as far as why you want to do a daily mode of operation and how to go about it. Not five, not ten, magic number eight. That's just what I came up with. But what happened to me was I went through what I thought was a daily mode of operation. Meaning, you know, I had this stuff up here in my head. But what happened come the end of the day, right, as I'm winding down the end of the night, I kept telling myself, oh, I forgot to do this. Oh, you know, just easy things, right? They weren't hard. They were simple. But it's things I have to do every day. And I'm like, oh, I'll remember tomorrow. So tomorrow, right, the next day came, end of the day. You know what? You guessed it, did the same thing. I'm like sitting there saying, oh, I didn't do this. I didn't do that. Not like, again, they weren't hard or it's something I didn't want to do. I just forgot. So... I knew I had, I found a pattern, right? I started recognizing this pattern here, right? Lamar, you're not remembering everything you think you do. And that's like all of us, right? We can't remember everything with everything going on. There's a lot that you probably have to do during the day. So what I started doing is writing down my items. I, and this is what they call a DMO, daily method of operation. Now. If you don't have a business, this whole, you know, you can use this for anything, right? You can use it in life. Like if you need to go to the gym every day or whatever it is, right? You can use it for this. Hey, I appreciate everybody for coming in. And I'm trying um, not to look down too much because I'm trying to stay focused. And I want to give you guys all the value I can in a short amount of time. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start getting right into this right now. So... What do you put on the list, right? Well, just start thinking about everything that you need to get done. Now, don't worry about things that you aren't doing either, right? Those have to also go on the list. The importance here is just get a piece of paper, start writing. Don't worry about the order of them. Don't worry about spelling yet. Don't worry about exactly how the you know, the items written, right? I mean, just don't worry about the small details. That's what I'm saying. Just start writing. Grab a paper and a pen. Just start writing down everything you need to get done. Like I said, even if you're not doing it currently, that's what this list is going to help you with, okay? And I got a little secret at the end and how I made this work for me. Just start writing, all right? And everything you need to get done. Once you think you've got that complete, now what you're going to do is organize your list. So what you want done in the morning, first thing, put that on the list, right? Then as you go through your day, put that, that's the order of your list. So as you start your day, top of your list. So as you're going down that list, right, that's going to be your day. So I hope that makes sense. So first step, just start writing your items down. Don't worry about the little things. Don't worry about the order. Second step, now you're going to organize those items once you have your list made. Does that make sense to everybody? Drop me a one in the chat. Just put a one in the chat if I'm making sense so far. Because I got the first two items done and I'm hoping I'm on track and not losing everybody. Now, the third step, be clear on how you write the items on the list okay I'm gonna give you for an example so if you have to write an email every day don't just write email one word right 
That's not going to really help. You want to say, I need to write my daily broadcast email. All right. So you have to, don't write a whole, don't go in the other extreme either. Don't be too descriptive. This isn't telling you what the email's about or how you got to go about doing the email. Just simply put down the item so it's clear to you. I have to write a daily email. All right. So that's the other thing I found myself doing. I was just writing my items too short. And I'm like, I went back and I'm like, what the heck is this? Right. It didn't even make sense to me. And I'm the one that wrote it just the other day. Right. So just don't write a novel, just a one sentence. So every item's like just one sentence long. Sorry, you guys. I keep looking over here in the right to my monitor because I just want to get the order down. So I hope, you know, I'm sorry about that. I just kind of apologize because um, I kind of wrote this up just before I did the live and said, hey, I'm doing a DMO. I should probably, you know, tell other people what I'm doing. This is really good stuff. The next thing. All right. So that was, I'm um, sorry. So we got to be clear on the task. Now, step number four, don't group things together when you write them down, right? So if something, a task takes you every day, if it really consists of three steps, write all three steps down, right? Don't just put that as one, all right? So in other words, let's go back to my email example. I have three broadcast lists, okay? So I, that, that same email goes to all three, but I want to know, I got to remember, right? Write the email and then send it to broadcast list one, broadcast list two, broadcast list three. Now that sounds easy enough, but I've had days where I might have only done, you know, sent the email to two of those lists, not all three. So th that task for me isn't just write my daily email. It's write my daily email, send to broadcast list one. Item number two, write my that daily email, copy it to broadcast list number two. Copy that same email to broadcast list number three. Because those are three steps that I have to do every day. And, and the reason why they're on my list, like I said, I forgot them before. So that's all the more reason to have them on the list. So make sure you don't bunch or group one item and if it has 10 different, you know, 10 different things, it's not the steps and how you have to do the item. It's so I guess steps might be the wrong word, but I just want to break each item out. Make sure if they're separate items, write each one out individually. Again, sorry, I apologize for looking over here. So that's number four, writing everything out. Five, I've already mentioned, write everything on this list. Even if you are not doing it right now, put it on the list. And this is why it's going to remind you that you have to do it. You may see, you know, that item might be on your list. You might see it over and over, day after day. But you know what? I'm going to tell you, eventually you're going to get sick of it and you are going to end up doing it. And I'll give you a good example. I'm trying to read motivational books and I try to, you know, make that a part of my life a lot. And to be honest, it gets pushed to the side, you know, and I tr told myself I'd try to do that for 30 minutes every day. And I'm not. I'm going to work up to that. It's on my DMO list, right? Because I've got to do that every day. And I'm going to show you a book right now. It's called Supreme Influence by Narca. This is an awesome book. I don't know. I'm on a delay here with my streaming software. So I don't know if you guys can see this. But this is a good book all about the mindset. And she goes through everything on how you can visualize goals. So this is an item that's been on my DMO list for a while. Read 30 minutes a day on motivational books. And I just got started two days ago. And that was on, like I was saying, it was on my list for the longest time. The book I leave out here in the open. I don't hide it. It sits on my desk. So I'm looking at it every day. It's a reminder to know that I have to do this. So that's step number five. Everything goes on the list that you have to do. 
And don't leave them off if you think it has to get done. Don't leave it off because you're not doing it, right? This is the purpose of this list. And it's going to help you stay organized as well later. Okay, six. This is a good key point here. Where do I keep the list? You know, you write this down. Look, you might write it. Look, I got my list right here. You know, I, I printed my list out, typed it up. I print my list out, and I leave that piece of paper on my desk. I don't leave it hidden in a drawer somewhere. I don't put it on the side. I don't fold it up. It's right here. It's smack on top of my desk every day. Why? So that I stay focused on that list. It reminds me I've got my list and I'm sticking to it. Okay? So don't just do this list and push it aside. That doesn't help either. This isn't once a day. This isn't an event. This isn't like now. This is every day. All right? And when I don't, when I forget about an item or a new item comes up, I add it to the list. Or maybe I might change the order of the list, you know, just in my daily routine. You're going to always be tweaking, you know, just tweaking it here and there a little bit, right? That's fine. But the idea, obviously, is to have the list. Now, item seven. You have to treat each of these items as a goal. And this has two, a couple effects. I don't know, it's probably more than two. But I look at each item as a goal even if I have to do it every day. Because at the end of the day, when I look at this list and say, oh, I didn't do this one, right? I missed this item, or I didn't do it, or I didn't feel like it, whatever the reason, whatever the excuse, that was a goal I set for myself and I didn't achieve it. You wanna get yourself in the mindset of creating a goal, you know, setting a goal, achieving that goal, right? Creating a goal and setting that goal. No matter how small the task is, it's a goal. You create that goal, you set that goal. So this is going to get you in a good, positive mindset as well. To be successful, you've got to learn to create goals and to accomplish goals. Now, granted, these are the smaller ones, but these smaller goals are going to get you towards your bigger goal, right? Does that make sense? And if I miss items on that list for the day, that's how I look at it. I miss, you know, I didn't achieve that goal. I missed it. Right? I put that all on myself. I'm not, you know, sitting there taking it serious. You know, like I'm not gonna sit there and fret about it, right? But I look at that. Don't just put an item on that list just willy-nilly and don't have much, you know, it's gotta have meaning to you, right? I know that these things I do every day are gonna help me stay on track to work to my big goal, my ultimate goal. And I've got that one written down too, right? Now, the next thing I want to do is talk about. I kind of, I did this thing, and I can't remember. I guess, like, the little trick up my sleeve was all about the goal. So kind of seven and eight went together here. I kind of maybe messed this up a little bit. But the, that's the little trick that I have up my sleeve. I take that list serious. I look at each one of those items as a goal. And what I do to stay, you know, to make it feel more like a goal, like you can see, I printed my list out right here. I got a faithful pen right here, and when I finish each item, I just put a big check mark next to it, right? And I move on to the next item. And when I'm done with that, I put a check mark next to it. That is the second part of this. That's going to give me that goal mentality feeling, right? And it gives you this really good feeling inside. You know what else happens? You get motivated a little bit more to move on to the next one. You stand up a little bit taller in that chair, right? You get a little bit more weight, a less, you know, a little bit less tired, right? So you start feeling that motivation. And if you do this all day, you know, items done, check it off. Literally, you have to take that step. Items done, check it off. It's going to help keep that you motivated, to help you get through your day. So that is the eighth and final one. So I'm just going to wrap up, and I'm going to go over eight the eight steps here. I'm not going to explain everyone, but in summary, number one, put it on the list, right? Put it on the list. Step two organize your list. So organize it in the order through 
the way you go throughout your day. Be clear on each item that you add to that list. Break out every item. If it's multiple things, multiple tasks that you have to do for that item, write each of those tasks out as an item. Right? I think, and then add everything to the list, whether you're currently doing it or not. Keep that list where you're going to see it all day. Don't tuck this thing away. This isn't for a rainy day kind of thing. You want that list to be in front of you. You know, this is what's going to help you guys, right, to your success. And the reason why I just feel this strongly about it, I know my mindset has changed in a short time since I've got this list. You know, I don't put myself on a time limit, but just get yourself going through those steps every day, every day. And if you got like 20 things on your list and you're only doing two, fine. Next week, do three of them. Next week, do four of them, right? Work your way up. These are your goals. Seven, make sure you treat every item on that list as a goal. This is going to help with your mindset. This is going to keep you motivated all day. And the last one, eight. Print that list out, and as you complete each step, each task, whatever you want to call it, a goal, check it off, done, right? You may set the goal, you complete the goal, check, right? That's going to give you a good feeling. Don't just take this thing lightly. You know, this is one of the foundations that you have to use if you're thinking about having a business or even, you know, anything, even if you guys are affiliate marketers, right? You got, you know, say you got to do something, right? Like if you run offers out of ClickBank, do you have, do you look for offers every day? Do you need to look for offers every day? If you do, that is your task, right? Put that down on your DMO, little things like that. It's anything, right? If you meditate every day, like I try, I meditate probably five, 10 minutes a day, that's on my list because if I don't put it there, you know what happens? I start getting busy doing stuff and I push things like that off. Oh, no, no, I don't need to do that today. I'll do it tomorrow. But obviously, we know how important meditation is, right? I, I try to read or watch motivational videos every day for 30 minutes every day. Why? Because this is the, again, I know this gives me the motivation. It keeps that energy up. You know, it keeps me going. You got to do it every day. You can't just watch a motivational video once and then be, you know, be done, right? Because you know how it, that feeling only lasts for five minutes, right? Or 10 minutes, a short time. And then an hour later, after you're done watching the video, right? You're not motivated anymore. But you got to, that's just, you got to think of things to help keep your energy up, you know? And this is one of the things I do. So your daily mode of operation, write them down have it in a handy place. And I appreciate and thank each and every one of you for watching today. And you guys all have a great weekend.